Branding and social media is always, uh, you know, is always a, a hot topic for me, um, and it's been it's been it's been a tough one. And one, you know, one of the, one of the businesses that you know I've been been working with this week, uh, you know, Laritzia, our fashion business, because you know we're working very hard right now to to develop our uh, I guess our unique identity. Um, and we're having to do that uh, whilst wanting to be unique and and um, appropriate and appeal to our customer base, but whilst also not offending um, the brands that we work with. Um, and it, it's, it's not an easy task um, because, and you know, when you when you look at our peers, you know, the likes of net porte of, of Matches, of Selfridges, of My Teresa, etc. Uh, and again, this, is, this isn't, you know, uh, unique to the fashion business, you know, I, I think any corporate, uh, any big corporate business is, does a pretty shit job uh, on uh, on social media, you know, on Instagram, on Facebook, you know, I say on TikTok, they're probably even on TikTok. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I was talking with my team when we were looking at the likes of, you know, let's say a, a Netta Porter this week. And, you know, on, on face value, you're talking about a business there, you know, with well, obviously a super, super successful business, you know, with something like 4 million followers on Instagram. Um, but when you actually start to drill down and say, well, they may have 4 million followers on Instagram, but they get very, very low likes, very low engagement comments, etc., on, the, on, on their posts. And to me, you know, their social media strategies, I mean, they shouldn't, I mean, they, if that's all they're going to do, they shouldn't even spend any money on it. You know, they're, they're nothing more than vanity metrics to keep, you know, to keep someone in a job, to keep someone earning a retainer so that they can turn around and, you know, and, and tell that organization that they've got them this many followers. Um, you know, it's it's so important to you know to, to to know your identity, to know what is your brand, and to be true to it. Because ultimately, that is you know that is what's going to set you apart from your peers. Uh, you know, in in most businesses nowadays, you know, there's no there's no secret sauce, there's no unique there's no unique product. You know, you think about what you do. I think about you know what I do. Ultimately, I'm in the fashion business, I'm in the gym business, I'm in the leisure business. You know, yes, we all like to say. That we, you know, that we're better than our competition, but the reality is, do we really do anything so so different? Uh, you know, and ultimately, you know, what sets us apart is our sales, our marketing, our branding, our personality. So it's so important to know what your personality is and 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 and, and to own it. Um, and yeah, I guess you know my my, my personal you know, personal brand uh, you know is a prime prime example of this. You know, you, you guys that follow me will know that uh, you know my my brand, my personality, my lifestyle is you know is let's say unconventional. Uh, is certainly not what you would expect from uh, you know from a lender, from a finance company, uh, you know fr from um, uh, you know fr from a okay, let's say a private equity style on entrepreneur. Um, but the bottom line is it's me uh, and it's very easy for me to do it and to remain consistent across across all areas because you know, because I don't have to I don't have to lie I don't have to put an image on uh, and if that means that I alienate some people then so be it um, because you know I, I I know from an offline world that you know what I do online is the same as what I do offline and I know that from an offline world you know whilst again I may alienate some people offline I uh, am able to build relationships and you know take full advantage of my personality for want of a better word uh, in the relationships I've got and the relationships I've built and that's why I have them um, and it's the same for all of you guys you know um, a, a, a client a client in one of my businesses uh, recently well recently I don't know, 12 months ago uh, you know it's a, a lawyer was having a chat with me saying that you know she wanted to go on social media uh you know she wanted to try, try and build a profile but you know but but what didn't know what to do didn't really want to do it because you know lawyers don't do that kind of thing um and i was saying to her at the time that you know that that is a terrible answer and you know and and just because nobody else is doing it is you know does not mean that that you know that you shouldn't you know building a brand uh, you know, having a personality, you know, building a profile on social media are applicable to every business, every sector, every price point, every everything. And I was really pleased actually. When she, she texted me about something a couple of weeks ago and said, you know, by the way, I took your advice and I've gone on social now. Um, and I had a, look, had a look at her page and it's, 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 great, it's great to see her sharing her story. Um, 
you know, uh, I mean, at the time she was saying to me, well, you know, what will I talk about? You know, it's, it's, it's bo- you know, what, what we do is, is pretty boring for people to listen to. And that's the key thing, you know, t- two things. One, you need to try and make it not boring or as, as not boring as possible. And, you know, listen, no matter how boring any business may, may sound, there's always stories to tell and quirks uh, that can, you know, that can make it fun, can make it exciting for certain people to listen to. And the other thing is, you know, for the people who aren't interested, they're never going to be interested. You know, if you, if you are, uh, you know, a tax accountant or you're a, 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 you know, a corporate lawyer or you're a, you know, or you're a florist or you're whatever it may be, you're it's only going to be your direct audience that's, that's interested in that kind of stuff so don't worry about trying to be something that appeals to everyone because when you're trying to keep everybody happy you make nobody happy